it can be good for your name tags to have uh, pictures that go with them. And what most teachers will do is they will try to take pictures with their camera. And when you're trying to take pictures with a camera, you will find that uh, it's difficult to get um, something that looks just right, where the pose is good, the face is neutral, everything works together. And, of course, a neutral face is important, and it's very important for your kids to look like they normally do. Uh, if you ask parents to send in pictures, you're going to get glamour shots every goddamn time. And you don't want glamour shots. You need something that shows what kids look like day to day, uh, because yourself and other teachers are going to need to be able to look at these name cards that you got on the board and be like, okay, this face, this name, I know who is going to get a reward or a punishment. I'm going to give them a star now. And uh, during free moments in class, I can glance at these uh, as they're uh, magnetically attached to the, to the whiteboard. And I can practice the names of my students. So I can uh, finally learn them, <laughs> right? So uh, the process of getting pictures uh, that are high quality starts with taking a video of your students, just like this one here. So this is the video playing at uh, normal speed. I'm using VLC Video Player, and... If you jump forward and back in time, it's going to move by more than a second. And that makes it very difficult to be like, now, right, no, 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 now. You want to find just the right frame in the video, right? So what can you do? You can change your playback speed. You can change your speed with the plus and the minus uh, sign to go faster and slower. Uh, you can return to normal speed with equal. And if you want, you can press E. And every time you press E, it is going to advance just one frame, only one frame of video. And you can hold down the E button and go, no, 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 no. I like to just hit it rapidly. It's almost exactly the same, actually. And yes, it goes a little bit slow, but you're able to get uh, quality pictures this way and find just the right frame. Now, let's say I just wanted to instead slow it down. Uh, so here is my speed at about one eighth. Not too bad. I can pause it uh, and be pretty close within just one or two frames of where I wanted to be. So I can find a good moment. And in the background, I have another program running for image editing. And with that program, I am going to take a screenshot. Maybe I decide, well, that's not a very good picture. Uh, right now. Nope, not now. Let's look at our students here. Maybe that's a good picture of a student. So I'm going to take that screenshot. I, I have a hotkey for that. And then I go to my other program. Oh, it wasn't open, but that's okay. Uh, so, screenshot. Now I'll tab over to it. Now that I'm in this here, I can pick something out. I can crop it, make some changes, and then save it. So after I have a series of pictures that have all been cropped, like here, I got a bunch of pictures in a folder, and you'll notice uh, some of these uh, might have a little bit of uh, 
distortion in the picture. They're not perfect. But that's okay because when you shrink it down, it's going to come out looking pretty good. So after uh, you got your pictures selected and you're happy with uh, how they all look, uh, select them, right click, go to print, and then you will have a choice of how you want them to print out. And what I do is I use the contact sheet option. And I've already done extensive proofing with my name tags. So uh, that means that I've, I've printed these out and made little adjustments and then printed again and, I, and made little adjustments. And right now these print out at just about four and a half centimeters uh, wide or tall, depending on your perspective, which is just about perfect for a wallet sized uh, picture print out uh, on A4 paper, which is what we use here in China. And that is how you get really great pictures for your name tags. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just paste these in here. And um, after they've been laminated together, it'll never move again. It'll, it'll just be all part of the same thing.